So hello, everybody. It's the second time I'm here on a Zabbix Summit, so I'm very proud to be talking today. And I will talk about a very simple development that we have done in CBO, which is a very small French company. And uh, it's very small, but very convenient for us. And it's public, so you can use it if you are interested. So um, it's about how Zabbix can read your emails. I mean, not all of them, but some of them. OK, how we came across that. Um, we were looking for uh, some better way to monitor Veeam. Uh, I guess you are familiar with Veeam backup system. It's a very popular system. And uh, it's very adapted to small business, which is uh, the core of our customers. And um, other way to monitor Veeams, I'll talk about them a little bit. Uh, they have some default, for us at least. And uh, we, in fact, said something that is very common to a lot of backup software. They send mails. It's pretty out of the box. And it's very easy to set up. So uh, I just look out through forums, and I found this guy who was talking about how to read mail within Zabbix. And it was also a feature request that was published in 2015. Obviously, uh, Zabbix can do everything, so it was not included, unfortunately for us, into Zabbix. But uh, this guy here, I want to thank him very much, had published a poor man implementation of the thing. And we could enhance that. I mean, it was very easy because the idea was extremely clever. And I, we published it on GitHub. So you can go there and get it. And we use it actually for Vim, and we want to use it for DMARC. So how does it work? So it's very simple. It's one single Python script. It has a few dependencies, but there is a requirements.txt, so you can pip install everything you need. Uh, it uses Zabbix sender uh, to send the data, so it's really uh, lightly connected to Zabbix very simple, and has a single configuration file. I didn't show the wall file, uh, the, the upper part, and you have a very simple example. So the upper part is just uh, the Zabbix server address and port. And then you have a second part that is called, uh, it's a needy file, so you, it's, it's got a section of its own, and it's called subjects. And you will put in there regex that will mask, uh, match the subjects of your emails. And here is the main purpose of uh, our um, uh, software right now. So you see here that the subject must match something in the regex. In fact, in the regex, you've got several named groups that will be um, Zabbix items, in fact. And if one of the named groups matches the subject, then you can set up a discovery rule. So that would enable, so here, for instance, we've got here, uh, this is standard uh, Vim email system. So here is the name of the job. So the discovery rule will discover automatically all the job you create into Zabbix, which is extremely convenient, of course. And then we will measure uh, the status of these jobs, just reading uh, the title. And we've been doing that for one year. And you can find us here uh, in Veeam integration. So a little uh, word about why we did that. So uh, you would say, why not SNMP traps? Well, in fact, uh, a lot of programs, um, a lot of backup programs, as I've told you, send emails and not SNMP trap. Why not other Veeam integration solutions? Well, in our case, uh, we use very small VM to make Veeam run. I mean, it's, it's really enough if you don't have a tons of backup. And if you start a PowerShell snippet, which is what all the other integration solutions are using, you may have some trouble. First, it's very slow to start if you have little resources in your VM. 
And in some cases, it can be harmful. If you look at this entry into, back, into Vim forms, you will see that uh, Zabbix can break your backup if you do PowerShell uh, integration. And uh, so I will publish last, that later on. I don't know if you to know about DMARC. I'm sorry, the time is going short, so I'm a, but I, I invite you to follow uh, the Vim as a GitHub uh, thing. And um, we, will, we will add some functionality into our, our parser. So uh, we have already uh, done something that I will publish very shortly because it's already working. It's an enhancement of the discovery mechanism uh, because in, in case you receive a burst of email, you may lose the first values uh, just after the discovery. And then we want to make a better use of dependent items so here I've written use parser, but I've discovered today, I mean, and yesterday, that we can do a lot with preprocessing. And I think uh, we can process all DMARC information. So DMARC is about email security. And certainly, uh, I will publish something about that and maybe talk about it later on. Many thanks.